Hey, everybody. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. We are live. And I just want to say hi, everybody. It's been a bit of a minute. I am Tiffany Beth. I'm Melissa Ann. We're best friends. And we're Midnight, we're Midnight Beauties. Beauties. It's been a little bit before since we've, we've gone live to film. Um, there's been a lot going on health-wise personally and in our families and so thank you guys so much for being so patient but yeah always joining us when we're around yeah. um we normally don't go live on my personal facebook page but since this is kind of like an impromptu show i am going live on my facebook and our facebook so if you could please go to midnight beauties like our page and watch us over there so go to midnight beauties watch midnight us over beauties. there i'm just sharing it awesome sauce so before we move any further i just want to give a shout out to a couple people first of all to nikki pritchard she is the sponsor of our show she makes wonderful soaps out of goat milk and oil extracts and everything else they smell amazing and this they is one of the amazing. samples of her soaps and, and mind it you smells, it's, it smells really good it smells so good it's banana cream pie like, I actually want to eat this. It looks like a piece of chocolate, and it smells divine. And it makes your skin feel so soft and so clean. I absolutely love her soaps. It's got olive oil, co uh, co co coconut oil, <laughs> um, palm oil, castor oil, almond oil, um, and oil mica powder. It smells absolutely freaking delicious. And do you want to give them the website where they can go and buy this for yeah, a or Christmas trip? And trying it, banana cream is not your cup of tea. There's a whole bunch of other different flavors. If you go to rosepetalscottage.com, you can pick out um, your favorites there and indulge in some decadent uh, soaps. Oh, it smells delicious. Now, I have to tell you, her packaging didn't come like that. Melissa and I are sharing those soaps, so I sent them to her. Yeah. So they're not going to come in a baggie. They're going to come way nicer than that. Yeah, I just I just kept it in the little baggie just so that um, I know where it is and no one will take it and think it's chocolate in my house. Because <laughs> it smells really good. It does smell delicious. And then the second person I want to give a shout out to is Gina B of the Fox Den. Who Gina, Gina. Gina B, baby, who are the Fox Den that airs on 8 p.m. every Thursday night on StreamYard, on YouTube, and on her Facebook. Um, she's been a part of our DTM world for many, many years. We love her so much. Um, we are dissolving DTM, so I can focus more on our face, on our YouTube channel, and our convention um, business, as well as a few other projects. But Gina also makes all the artwork for our promotion. So she is so amazing. She's so fantastic. And so, you know, if you need any artwork done for your promotion, any banners, any flyers, she'll make them. Her She's name is wonderful. Big supporter of our YouTube page, all of our platforms. Huge major, supporter. Major, major shout out. We love her so much. So if you could go and like her page, which is the Fox Den, and watch her every Thursday, 8 to 10. She has on the most amazing guests, um, psychics and paranormal investigators, numerologists, life coaches, things like that. Really fun, really helpful and inspiring. Um, I think, and plus she just is fantastic herself. She actually just did a show <laughs> that raised a couple of eyebrows because they were poking fun at fake psychics. And a couple of people got offended because I think they're fake psychics, regardless if they like that or not. Um, she got a little backlash. But you know what? If you're not ruffling any feathers, you're not doing your job. Hi, so. Lauren. Lauren's on. And so Hi, Lauren. Reese is on, too. Hi, girl. Hi, um, Lauren is a filmmaker, if you haven't already. Um, if you are a cannabis user and love movies about cannabis you can go like her page the devil's lettuce and uh support her indiegogo program or program campaign mm -hmm. and help her make an awesome movie about people who make a really bad no-no by smoking cannabis out of a skull doesn't end well doesn't end well Mm -hmm. but uh it's fun so go give her a shout out we're all about small businesses we're all about helping other people we're, we're all about cross promotion I got my um, my paparazzi little Santa earrings on. 
Yes, yeah, Lauren and oh my gosh, I have so Lori. many friends. That yeah, Lori and she sells the paparazzi. And so does Lindsay George. We and yeah, we have so many people. And then Sensi. Oh, Sensi. We've got Jody and Brittany who sell Sensi. I mean, mm -hmm. oh, Lauren uh, shared the link. For her, um, on her on our Facebook page, we're live on Tiffany's Facebook page, and she shared the link on there for her um, for the Devil's Lettuce. So you can go check that out and support her um, campaign. Awesome sauce. So we know the holidays are going to be really rough this year, um, and it's going to be quite taxing. You know, a lot of people have lost a lot of loved ones. I lost my mom. Melissa's lost people, then we can't see them on top of that. Mm -hmm. But that doesn't mean that we can't be full of love and have some sort of fun through this. So even though we can't be together, what we're going to do tonight is to show you some very festive looks for eyeshadow that even though you can't physically be together, you can be on Zoom just like we kind of are now. And you know what? Um, mental health right now is very, very serious um, subject. And I think it's very important just because a lot of us are stuck at home. We are not going out anywhere. Um, many of us have opted to not have large gatherings that yes. we normally do with our families. And it's just going to be low key. But, you know, providing yourself with a little self care and just putting on a little glam makeup. And so even though we're not going to be having a Christmas party, a no. Christmas Eve party or a New Year's Eve party, we still can do fun holiday look looks because we enjoy it and we like it. So we thought we would come on today and just share some of our more festive looks. Um, I was thinking to kind of keep mine like a little bit more brown, smoky and gold, but... I just got this beautiful ColourPop eyeshadow palette. It's called Fade Into Hue, H-U-E. And these are all of the colors on there. And I am just dying, like dying to use this. So I might play with like the blues, which I typically do not usually go near. But like that blue right there, Kaleidoscope, it is literally calling my name. And I don't know, are you going to do one side one color, one side the other color? Well, I actually, what I want to do is like a blue, red, green because... All on one eye? Yeah, something, well, kind of. Okay, or two different eyes. Not two different eyes because I saw a look where they did mix some blue in it, yep. but it was more like a, on a greenish thing with red. Yeah. So I too got some color pop. And look at these. Look at this. Oh, my God. I love them. That's I the green it. one. Love it. Love it. And that's the blue one. And they're beautiful colors. Mm -hmm. And I want to dip into those. But also, as uh, Melissa rediscovered tonight, I got Conspiracy by yep. Jeffree Star. We and bought there's... so much makeup recently that I can't keep track of who's bought what and when and where. That I mean, the the conversation between us was hysterical tonight because <laughs> I actually sent her pictures of my I makeup remember, palette. I don't remember like, what I did yesterday. She's <laughs> like, I don't remember you got that. I'm like, I totally got that like in September. But we feel kind of bad too because when we went Christmas shopping we may have bought three presents for ourselves and one for someone else. And those three presents were like Bath and Body Works, not sponsors, by the way, Jeffree Star, uh, Morphe, ColourPop. Yeah, I bought the Morphe Manny MUA, X, -MU X Manny MUA. And for those out in the world that don't know Manny MUA, he's a YouTube makeup artist. He does a lot of tips, trends, tips, all that kind of stuff. And um, Morphe is a makeup brand. But this is that palette. So it has the two like bronzers. And then like see that color right there just screams like holiday with like the golds and stuff. So I don't know. I might do something a little bit more every day. We'll see. We'll see how I, I mean this. I don't know. Like this just is calling my name. And for those who are not familiar with ColourPop, ColourPop's pigment payoff is absolutely amazing. And for the cost of their products, I mean, we hit some really great Black Friday sales. 
I mean, I think your pallets that you were get the you got the package deal, but some of them were only running like five ninety nine for the smaller ones, mm -hmm. which. I mean, even if you compare that to Revlon, the payoff and the color pigment on this is absolutely amazing. And they don't just have eyeshadows. They have concealers. They have lip glosses. They have, I've tried their eyeliners and I'm so, so on the fence. I just, I kind of go back and forth because I'm so partial to my KVD um, tattoo liner, but they've got foundations and it's affordable. And if you are near an Ulta and it's not shut down because of COVID, or you could do curbside pickup if they offer that, um, Ulta does carry a small selection of ColourPop. And the nice thing about that is that if you have the ColourPop or if you have the Ulta coupons, this is considered a lower end brand and you can use the Ulta coupons on the ColourPop. So just a way to save money. Awesome. And you know what? Speaking of sales, I, you oh, know, Lauren said the kaleidoscope looks really good. I think I'm going to have to use that then. That's I, think the deal. <laughs> I think you should. And plus I'm dying to use Jeffree Star's designer blood. I can't wait to see that. So do you have, do you own unicorn blood from him? So, you know, what's interesting is I really think designer blood and unicorn uh -huh. blood are extremely similar. I was just going to ask you if they look similar. They do. And you know what? I'm out of unicorn blood, but it's a bloody rust color. And so was unicorn blood. I, I, think, have, I have unicorn blood. I think I could grab. I think the difference is if there is a difference, this might be more on the red earth side where unicorn blood's more on the rust side. I definitely think that's more on the red side and unicorn blood is more brown, like deeper, I think. Yes. And this mine's is really old. So I don't know, like... But the lifespan is on it. Well, I would order another one, but shipping isn't fantastic, Jeffrey. No. Waiting on our shit, Jeff. Yeah. Just saying. Going on a month. Saying. Not that we don't love you, girl, but <clears throat> ship our shit. Thank you. Uh <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, um, he does yeah. have really cool names. Lauren commented that his the names are really cool. He does like have really awesome names for his. Well, who doesn't want to say, you know, what lips are you wearing? Oh, pussy whipped. Or cocksucker. Who doesn't want to say that in the middle of your workplace? Because some of these you can wear to work. You know, but some of the... Wing blow pony. Or how and, about NARS? NARS has a blush called orgasm. Yeah. That <laughs> you or... Just, just a little orgasm. What <laughs> eyeshadow pad are you wearing? Oh, it's orgy. It's fine. Isn't it beautiful? <laughs> <laughs> Here I thought kaleidoscope was bad. <laughs> <laughs> nope. <laughs> what, are you, what are you drinking in your cup? I have hot chocolate. But you like my cup, though? I'm not responsible for what my face does when you talk. Ah, that's great. So I have been obsessing over eggnog. And I know my brother commented on my Facebook page yesterday because he absolutely detests eggnog. <laughs> but I absolutely love this because it's non-dairy. I don't know. My friends probably know this. I have a lactose intolerant. Not that she pays any attention to it. No, I don't really listen to it. But this is dairy-free. And it tastes freaking delicious. And I just put a little nutmeg on top of it. Yeah, spike it up. I don't, I, didn't put it, I don't have any alcohol in wine. But I don't think wine <laughs> would taste good in that. I don't. I, have I, don't some, so. I think I have some um, Jaeger. Yeah. I don't know how eggnog and Jaeger would go. It's probably about 15 years old. <laughs> Jaeger. Especially that. I'd like to make coquitos, but I don't know. I'm lazy and it sounds What's complicated. Coquitos? It's a Mexican eggnog, but it's got like cinnamon and um, evap condensed milk and heavy cream and all of this stuff. Yeah, and I just, you know what? I would drink it if they had it already mixed in a bottle. I don't want to mix it myself. Mix it in a bottle and I will drink it. Um, I can make it for you and I'll deliver it to you. Oh, that sounds perfect. Yeah. As we tell everybody, we're not getting together for Christmas. And you're like, oh, I'll stop by. I'll just drop it out the window. <laughs> like, delivery out the window. I know, right? You can mail it. Like in that movie Caddyshack where the comes down. Out the window. <laughs> or in uh, what's the movie with John Cusack? Oh, and we had uh, Diane um, Diane Franklin on 
um, Better Off Dead, where oh, the baby yeah. boy just shoots the paper through the garage window yeah. every right. time. That would totally be us. So why don't you start us off? All right. So I'm going to take my glasses off, and then I'm going to be blind and not be able to see anything. So I already have... Um, Seeing is overrated. I mean, I already have foundation on. Well, it was from early this morning, so, so I'm not going to really focus on that. Just because if I've not used this palette yet, so I want to, I don't know if I'm going to get any fallout from it. Typically, I don't think with um, with uh, their products, you really do get much fallout. And I will say the packaging is really pretty. It's got that those softer colors. Um, it's nice because all of the colors are on the back too. Um, although they do list all the colors um, underneath each shadow. I know some product lines don't do that. Um, but in, I think in order to save or to put in more cost into their product, they don't put mirrors in because that, that actually costs money. This little plastic piece actually Not into money. all of them. Yeah, this plastic piece actually costs money. I always thought that these were... Um, not very good, but I've come to learn that this is a great way to protect and save your shadows. So I try to keep them now. Um, and I'm just going to start with my, as always, um, a P. Louise eyeshadow base. You can use a um, concealer for an eyeshadow base. Um, typically, I think like an eyeshadow primer or one that's meant for shadow is better. Just because a lot of the shadows now that we're running into are pigment based or they're pressed pigments. So sometimes when you do use pressed pigments with concealer, it doesn't stick to the concealer. Um, so like Jeffree Star, a lot of Morphe, ColourPop, a lot of them use the pressed pigments now. So I tend to use the P. Louise. Um, if you visit on the P. Louise um, website, it ships from um, England or Morphe sells them too. Uh, it is very inexpensive. I think I paid like $7.99 for this little bottle of two, for this little bottle and it's lasted me since last February. And it's very full. So I absolutely am obsessed with that. So and, I'm just going to put a little bit on. And I am also going to put on my Pretty Vulgar. Okay, you can't see that. Pretty Vulgar. Mm -hmm. I like this one a lot too, but I got a new one in my BoxyCharm, which next week we'll go over our BoxyCharms. Because I haven't gotten my BoxyCharm yet. She has not gotten her BoxyCharm yet, but it's I have true. a new one and I'd like to try it. But I do love Pretty Vulgar. It works really, really well. And if you want to put your eyeshadow primer on with a sponge, on with your finger, on with a brush, you know, whatever you feel is best for you. I like to use my finger just because when I'm doing the eyeshadow base, because I know how much I'm applying. I know the pressure that I'm using and I can pat it in to my wrinkles, make it stick in there. Like silly, like silly putty. There's one also hack I'd like to share with you. I already actually put my setting powder on and such, but, and I don't know if everybody knows this or, and if you do, then you know how great it is. I have been taking, for those of you who use setting powder and sprays, I have been taking my setting spray and spraying my brush and then using setting powder. And I let it sit for a minute or two. And then, of course, I spray my whole look after it's done. And I have found that my makeup is staying so wonderful. And it's not rubbing off on my mask as much. Now, don't get me wrong. It still rubs off on my mask. It's still a pain in the ass. But it's actually not as bad. Um, when I took off my mask the other day, um, I noticed there was a lot less rub off than there normally is when I just use setting powder and then setting spray at the end. Um, so if you think about it, when you go to put on your setting, your setting, um, powder, spray your brush with a spreading spray. I cannot talk setting spray and then apply your setting powder and then it stays. It's fantastic. And then at the, when, at the end of your look, spray the entire look with your setting spray. It won't come off as much. Really. It's fantastic. You know what another little tip is too? If you are using a glitter eyeshadow or one that has like shimmer sparkles and you're having a hard time it showing up on your eye, if you have a brush, you can use your setting spray, spray your brush, and then 
you can dip it. You can either dip it in first and then spray or spray, then dip it in. And it'll make the pigment in the shimmer brighter. Oh, awesome. I did yep, not some, know that. Yep. Some people use water too. I'm just putting a little concealer under my eye because... I just needed to because I think some of my mascara ran down from this morning. <laughs> All good. And now I look really bright. You look beautiful, darling. You look beautiful, darling. Okay. So I got to find my brushes. Did you put your... Well, here's my glasses. Yep. There I was going to say I would have sat in front of our Christmas display because we have a ton of Christmas lights and a Christmas tree. But over there is so dark, you wouldn't be able to see my makeup at all. I don't have the lighting that Melissa has. And I'm not, well, we installed tracking lighting in our um, living room. I'm sitting actually in, on the floor in our uh, living room. Yeah. Uh, I would, I usually film in my beauty room, but um, I have my office stuff is in there at the moment. So let's see here. I'm just going to do some of my brows. Um, I actually got this in the BoxyCharm. Um, I ordered it. It's the um, Brow Contour Pro from Benefit. And I'm going to try it. It reminds me of those pens that I had in high school where you click it down and then you click it and then you click it. It's got a highlighter. It's got, I don't know, a definer, a deeper shade and a lighter shade. I don't know. I thought for $7.99 on BoxyCharm when it's usually $32. Why not? But the only thing is it's got a really, whoops, it's got a really like fat like tip here. So that's the only thing. But you twist it, just make it go down like that. Also kind of looks like a diabetic pen. Yeah, it does. It does look like a diabetic <laughs> pen. That could be terrible if you were in a crisis. <laughs> Don't give yourself. <laughs> That's eyebrows. not insulin. I thought that was insulin. No, it's my <laughs> brow. Why do you have all those black dots on your arm? <laughs> oh my goodness! So, while she does that, I have to show you this. So, I got for myself because you know Christmas shopping. I got a palette of called Dream Big, and it was nine palettes. And they're all so beautiful. And this is, I think this is my favorite. I have to show you. These greens, look at those greens. I have wanted a green, green palette for so long. And it's beautiful. The only problem I have with this, and I'm going to be honest with you, is there's a little bit more fallout than I would like. But it's super pigmented and it lasts a long time on your eyes. That's it. You had a really great deal on all of that. I did, and I got a compliment on it, actually. The woman through the Starbucks drive through loved my makeup, and I told her... It was her, absolutely gorgeous. Oh, thank you. But I love this palette. If you, if the, and the Big Dream palette is not exactly on sale. On sale, when I got it, it was like 50% off. Right now, I think it's 25 or 30. It's still a great deal. But if you break it down, it averages out to be really good cost savings. Yeah, because you could well, actually get three, four, five, six, six palettes. You get six palettes of nine pan eyeshadows. So, all right, what are we starting with, Lissa? Um, I'm going to start with like a um base coat first, and I'm just going to um, are you how are you going to do yours? Are you going to do like a cut crease or a? Well, I was going to follow your lead. Oh, you're going to follow my lead? Yes. Oh, shaboo boo. Oh, I didn't even know. We, maybe we did talk about that too. Um, actually, um, we did, but that's okay. That's why I love you. That's fine. <laughs> shaboo boo. Okay, yeah. so I'm losing my horns. Um, so I'm just going to take a lighter shade for like transition color just because I'm going to be dipping into the blue. And the blue is such a vibrant shade that you need something to kind of offset it. So if you're using a darker shade or like that kind of vibrant shade, you need something to kind of offset it. Um, some people go in right with the blue just because they want to. Um, but I'm going to take I just want to make sure that it's going to blend good. So I'm going to take that. Because that next blue I'm going to use is pretty vibrant. So I'm just using like a light, a light peach color. But what type of look are you, are you doing? Cut crease? Are you doing halo? And explain how you're doing it as you go. Um, let me think. I think maybe I might do a halo with this look. Just because it's really glittery. So oh, I think right. I'm going to do a little bit of a halo. 
um halo fits fits my eye shape the best so with your eye shape you have a lot more space so you can do a lot more color to it a lot more smoky so that's really important that you want to go based on your eye shape so i'm gonna do um a halo i mean i do like a cut crease but i think with this blue shadow it's gonna be so in my face that i'm going to do the cut crease so i'm gonna actually i'm gonna change my mind and i'm gonna take a lighter blue the fun thing about makeup is that you can change your mind and you could change your color, change your position, whatever you need to do. So I'm just going to pack a little bit lighter color on the outer piece, on the outer corner of my eye. Just like so. Whoa, look at that color. Look at that that pops. And I'm just, I'm taking it and I'm actually pressing it in. I'm not rubbing. So I'm taking the brush and I'm actually patting it into the eye. Just like so. All right. So I just laid this color down. I like to actually put a foundation down all around. Yep. So I just used that color. And next, I believe, if I can get things to cooperate. That means. I forgot I told you. I or did I tell you I ordered something today? I think you did. More makeup. Not surprised. I ordered something from Chaotic Cosmetics and I can't wait for it to get here. I love you so much. <laughs> I do have an addiction, but I bought their yeah, retro do. I bought their yes. retro palette pigment hydro pigment palette. When I get it, I will show everybody. I am so excited because you can wet the palette and make all kinds of looks. Okay, so like I said, there is a bit of a fallout from here, and I just gently touched this color. It's kiss my hass. Oh, kiss my sass. Hass. Hass. Oh. See, there is a bit more fallout than I'd like. Where so I just tapped my brush a bit. And I'm going to do what Lissa did. Where is she going with that blue, man? Oh, wow. <laughs> Where is she going? Where is she going? She's going to bed. <laughs> She's going to bed. She's going to bed. So we're that kind of show? <laughs> make sure before you go to bed you take your makeup off don't be <laughs> like me because sometimes I don't take it off sometimes I forget too or sometimes I just I just don't off. because I'm lazy I'm lazy or like I just I, I use the makeup wipes and then I don't wipe off the residue yeah. Depression then I wonder why I'm always breaking out mental health is real and so sleep is more important this is true So I'm just going, I'm, any, everything that I did on this side, I'm doing to the other side. So I'm patting that light blue, just packing it in there and bringing it up a little bit higher above my eye socket thing there. Oh, look at this green. I'm living for oh it. Oh, my God. That green is absolutely freaking amazing. I'm living for this green. Do they sell those individually? They do. Hmm. I might have to get that green. Although I do have greens in here. I wonder if some of them are similar. Oh, and the more I pack it on, the brighter it gets. Oh, my God. I'm in love. When you, took, when you sent me that picture the one day that you had that green on, it was absolutely freaking amazing. Shanks. It's from the same palette. So I'm just going up. So with the halo look, you do the darker on the outside, darker on the inside, and then you leave the little piece in the middle open because that's where we're going to put the lighter color. So, but before I put the lighter color, I'm going to go in like I have that light blue. So I just want to deepen up the outsides a little bit. So I'm going to add some of this um, darker blue down here. It's called Iconic. So it's that. I might add some green in. I don't know. We'll see. So do you know who Perez Hilton is? I think everybody knows who Perez Hilton is. Um, so you know he got banned on TikTok? I did not know that, but I'm not surprised. Yep, he got banned for life on TikTok. Again. So I'm, just I'm just taking a blender brush, and I'm just going to blend the, blend the two colors in together, just so that there's not like a harsh line. 
Yep, he got banned. He was on, I saw him on Instagram, and he was um, begging Charlie D'Amelio's family, who, who, if anybody doesn't know who she is, um, she's that, she's young. She's what, 16, I guess? Yeah, she's and, a makeup guru. Yeah, and she's a TikTok person. Yep. Young girl. And, you know, my my thing is that she's young. She's she's a teenager. She's 16 and he's held in his 30s. And so they were saying that he got banned for violating community guidelines for and I guess bullying was part of that and nudity as well. But I, I did feel bad for him because he was talking about his mental health and how much joy he found in creating music videos with his mother who had been battling cancer and she's better now, but he, I guess he had over 500 videos. He was saying saved on the TikTok app of his mother and like his kids and he can't get to them now. And so that's the one thing he was trying to figure out is just how to get those back. Well, though I, um, the devil's advocate side of that. Yeah. That does not excuse how you treat people. No, it doesn't. And if you're going to be a dick to somebody because you feel like you can, I mean, the Kardashians had a court order against him at one point. Mm -hmm. I mean, Kardashian fan or not, but, mm -hmm. and they weren't the only ones because no. he has a history of bullying people because he thinks he can. And I guess the thing that he was mad about is that no one from TikTok gave him any warnings about the violations, according to him. I don't believe that. I don't and believe that at all. And so, like, if that's not true, then that's not too fair. But I feel like you have to have some kind of idea if you're because they usually take the sound off of your um, video or they remove them completely. Yeah. So you so, can't tell me he didn't know. He's no, trying to pull the victim card and I'm not buying it. No, but he after all of that bullying that he did and or he claims it wasn't bullying. He claims it was critiquing, I guess. But. After all of that, um, he messaged Charlie D'Amelio's family on Instagram asking for their help. Which I think is kind of ballsy. Yeah, I thought so too. Just because they're, she's the number one, I guess, TikToker. You know what? And I, I under, you and I understand mental health very, very well. Yeah. However, that does not excuse somebody's behavior. No, you know you can't just treat somebody like that and think you're going to get away with it. That's pretty Especially dumb. Especially when you're an adult and that's a child. Married, sixteen-year-old person, and, and what are you critiquing them on? And think about yourself when you were at that age. You know, exactly. You were, you were going. He was going through a lot, and he didn't know certain things. No, and I'm sure, and I'm not taking away anything from his transitions because, no. you know, he's he's dealt with a lot, but he's kind of also brought a lot of that on himself too. Yeah. Okay, look at this green. I am in love with this green. That green is it's like an emerald green. That's absolutely beautiful. It is. So what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to go in and pat. Look at that red. <gasps> Holy moly! And this is from the conspiracy palette. That Melissa forgot I bought. Is the big one or the little one you bought? The you bought the you bought the big one. I did buy the mini conspiracy, but that's waiting to be shipped. <clears throat> oh. Jeffrey. Jeffrey, darling, you and that big house better start shipping our stuff. I cut my bangs right before we went live. And I got getting little hairs everywhere. <laughs> oh my god, Melissa. It was in my eyeballs. I just chopped it. It's okay. I, I cut an inch off my hair this morning at work. Well, not this morning, this afternoon. I had um, it on the ponytail, uh, so I just cut it. Well, I couldn't go to my appointment a couple of weeks ago because I had gotten COVID tested and all came back negative. But, you know, when the test was waiting, it happened to be when I was supposed to go get a haircut, so I had to cancel. As long as you're negative, we don't care. Yep, I'm, I was negative. However, my family was not so lucky. Aww. 11 of them had COVID. It's awful. 
Yeah. So for those of you who are going, oh, it's just mind over matter, darling. It's fine. If you think you know, you just have to will it away. Fuck you. Will this away? Okay. Fuck you. That's not how it works. Unfriend us. Unfollow us. Do whatever you got to do. Fuck you. Work in healthcare for one day around somebody who has COVID. A thousand percent. I actually went and got my injectifers. Some of you may or may not know I have really bad anemia. So I have to get injectifer infusions. Let's just tell you in March, when I didn't think it was that serious, a bunch of the nurses didn't think it was that serious either. They're like, oh, it's just Zika. It's fine. It's not going to be anything more. Now they're wearing face guards and masks are scared to death because the whole entire ICU was overrun by people with COVID. Mm. So don't sit there and tell me it's mind over matter when there's people who are dying. That is your PSA for today. I'm not sure if I feel festive or if I feel like the Joker. I'm feeling very festive. I'm putting... Um... I'm putting glitter in. But I'm just packing in this color because even though it's a little like much, I'm still eating this up. I can't wait to put eyeliner on because that is really going to make it like pop. Some black eyeliner. Yes, ma'am. Hear your puppy dog in the background. Yes, they're going to go out to the bathroom. I learned something hysterical about my one dog. His name is Skywalker. He's one of the sweetest dogs you could ever possibly want to meet. He's a big baby. He is a big baby, but he's it's 90 hysterical. Pounds of big baby. Huh? That he's 90 pounds of big baby. He really is. 90, that's exactly how he is. 90 pounds of big baby. But what's hysterical is, is I found that he likes it when it snows. He definitely likes it when it snows. Mm -hmm. He'll jump into the snowflakes and he'll run around like a crazy person and just so cute. He absolutely loves it. He does not like it when it's not snowing anymore and wants absolutely nothing to do with the outside. <laughs> and he pretty much says, fuck you, mom. That's not what we're doing. <laughs> I'm not going out there. Brown snow. It's it's still white. It's still white. But he's just like, mm, fuck you very much. Nope, not me. Not going. So yeah. And then our littlest dog, Kylo. I'm like, come on, bud. It's time to go outside and go bathroom. He goes. He just looks at me like, nope. I'm pooping on the carpet. Better go get that. Uh. Better go get that. A uh, shampoo. Or you were looking at. Because I'm not moving. <laughs> Are you buying it? You're going to buy a shampooer? I think so. <laughs> All right. I am now going in with my blue palette to give me some bling. Oh, to give you some bling bling? What did I bling do? Bling bling. I'm going to go in with this color, this color first, Ooh. and then this color. Ooh. Have you been watching any Christmas movies? A ton, actually. Mm. I've been watching the Christmas Bacon Championship with Hi, Jason, Jason Smith. It's such a good show. It is a good show. And, of course, Christmas Vacation. And it just reminds me of Doris Roberts when mm. she said that Chevy Chase was an asshole. <laughs> I interviewed her and I said, how was it like filming? She goes, there were good days and there were bad days. I didn't know you filmed, uh, you interviewed Doris Roberts. Yes, I did. Oh. Wonderful, beautiful lady, by the way. And uh, she did a lot of work for charity. That's awesome. It is awesome. And I had asked her, I go, well, you know, 
tell me what was it like filming with Chevy Chase? And she goes, there were good days and bad days. Mm. And she goes, unfortunately, some of the days were much worse than others. And I was like, oh boy, that's not good. Mm. So needless to say, Chevy Chase is not exactly, I guess, Everybody's a joy to film with. Exactly. So I'm actually going to go back in with this color, this color, and I'm going to go under my eyes. That's what I did, but you can't really see it in the lighting. I need a blue eyeliner. Oh, wait, I got a blue eyeliner. Let me try this. Oh, try not to get it in your contacts. Yes, don't get in your contacts. Oh, and that reminds me. So I hadn't mentioned last show that I was going to go and get or get consultation for Lasix. Unfortunately, my eyes suck so bad. I can't do that. Mm. But they're putting in a vision center that because my astigmatism is really bad. Like without my glasses, my, my vision's 170 and 160 mm. without my glasses. Mm. But that's okay because they're putting in the vision center. And what is that? What does vision center mean? So they're putting in a, a surgical vision center, which will actually give me an opportunity to undergo my well, hold on. Mm -hmm. I might be able to get a different lens for my astigmatism, which then I'll be able to have some sort of LASIK. And I won't always have to wear contacts or glasses. Oh, that's good. Uh-huh. I'm just doing a little liquid eyeliner using my mini KVD. Did you see there was a sale on boxy add-ons for that? Yeah, but I didn't like the color. It was like a, like a light taupe color. Oh, yeah. I want to say that I'm actually living for this look. I really love it. I love it. I love it. Look at look at look at a lot. So Ooh, I, I watched, like it's glittery. Thank you. I watched The Greatest Showman. I don't know if anybody else loves that movie with Hugh Jackman, Zac Efron. One of my um, faves. I love all the music from it and for whatever reason i think it's because i watch it in the movie theater around christmas so i feel like and it's a lot of it's set in the wintery months so i feel like that is a christmas movie to me so oh. i watched that the other day and i was singing all the songs because i absolutely adore all of them and i follow all of the dancers and musicians on instagram and love them all so very much this is me as like my absolute like it's my anthem it's more than a, it's an anthem exactly i was gonna say it's more than a theme song it is my anthem it is absolutely my anthem because I, I watch meet me in st louis which is another i feel like that's a christmas one for me too um i really like that one because my grandmother used to play it all the time and that and like singing in the rain babes yeah. in toyland um oh. yeah we watched the march of toy soldiers oh march of the wooden soldiers that's a yeah. good one i watched white christmas because it's my mom's favorite christmas movie i love white christmas i saw that the other day too that's on netflix actually it's on Netflix shop. It's also on HBO Max. Yeah. So I had myself a good little cry. Oh. She loved the song Sisters. She always used to sing that. She sisters, did. Sisters. Sisters. Yep. And that was her absolute favorite movie. And because she was a dancer when she was younger. So she also liked the holiday, too. Yep. She liked the holiday. She did. There's a lot she likes. So, oh, there's one more person I want to mention before, well, two, before I forget. Geek Pod, they have an awesome geek podcast. They will be at our event, um, Sci-Fi Horror Fest. They're awesome. And then 
Horror Zone 607 and Three Fat Nerds. Rich, I love you. Rich is our event manager. We love them. So go and give them a watch and a look-see because they are funny. They're hysterical. And I have absolute all the love in the world for all of those guys. And they're all on YouTube, by the way. So I put a little eyeliner in the it, little liquid eyeliner in the corner to give me like a, I don't know, just to zhuzh it up. Zhuzh. I'm trying to get some eyeliner on. I feel like I need another. I feel like I need more dark color. It's not gonna work. Let's see. I need to add some. Now I have the song in my head. Sisters, now sisters. Whoops. When a pearl came arrived from home, no, she wore the dress and I, and I stayed home. home. No time we together. together. We stick it together. Rain on the sun, I fun. Uh huh. To something <laughs> in, but in tight places, we think, can we act as one? Uh huh. <laughs> Those who dream us. No, that not if not a fella could come between us. <laughs> when a certain fella arrived from Rome, she, she wore the dress, dress and I stayed, stayed home. Short You're welcome, everybody. Short You're people are leaving home. because I am tone deaf. And I'm not trying, so. <sighs> you actually can sing me. Sort of. I got heart. <laughs> I can sort of sing. You can sing that. No. Oh, I'm adding some of that green. I'm going to put some green in there. Why not? I'm going to smoke it out. Ah, see, I told you some black eyeliner. Yeah, yeah. Smoke it out. Smoke there we go. All right. I am getting a little fallout here. I will say, though, I, I, I really do like ColourPop because it stays... It's beautiful, but in some of the palettes, there is quite a bit of fallout, and I don't know if it's because it's pressed pigment. It could be. That could be. But make sure you really give your, your brushes a generous tap. Let it go. Let it go. I have frozen eyeshadow on. Not really. It's not the frozen palette. What it reminds me of. I need some. Do you look like Elsa? Elsa. Elsa. I need some blush. If I had white eyeliner, I would try to attempt to do a snowflake. I wonder if I could do a snowflake with a blue eyeliner. Yeah, you could try. Let's see. What's the harm in trying? I'm not going to contour today. I'm so sorry. But I am. This is one of my new favorite blushes. I am going to use it. Dusk by Siate. I love it. Look how it marbles. It's so pretty. See that? Oh, that's really pretty. Oh, your eyes look so pretty. Thank you. I can put some blush on. Whoa, that looks kind of bright. <laughs> the blush or your eyeshadow? Mm, well, a little bit of both. You know, when you have one bright color on one spot, you should do like a lighter color to offset that. I got to put that pretty though. So if you, if you get your blush on too bright like this, because I have really red cheeks because I'm 50% Irish, you could take a little bit of um, powder and just dust it on top and it helps to set it and it'll help to tone down that ink so it's not so bright well i wanted a red and green look <clears throat> you got it great so jeffree star 
designer blood. Here we go. Yay. I'm going to use Game Changer, the three liquid lipsticks I got in my, um, my faxi last month. I'm going to do just like a neutral color. Oh, this tastes like cake. Smells like cake. I would normally do a neutral color with this look, but I've been dying to use this. Yeah, go for it. I will also say the half cake lip liquid lipsticks I really do like. They're so good. So yeah, on camera it looks a little orangey, but in person it's more mauve neutral. It's called theme song. My theme song. Oh, I need mascara. I'm using my Milk Kush mascara. I'm absolutely obsessed with milk products. It's one product that has milk and I'm not allergic to it. Did it? I also have to, ha, ha Well, you're not allergic to it, but you don't care if you're allergic to anything because you do it anyway. Yep. I, I'm a glutton for punishment. Yeah, you're friends with me. Ha, ha. <laughs> I will also say I ordered the milk moisturizer. And I positively love it. It feels which one so did you, good. Which one did you order? It was the mini one because that was the only one they had available. Was it in a little blue stick? No, it was green, a little green uh, pot type looking thing. Mm, I don't think I tried that before. I like it. It's, it's a little on the thicker side, mm -hmm. but I like that because then you don't need as much. So I appreciated that this, much. This makes your eyelashes look, take them from small to big. You're gorgeous, darling. And I lost my glasses. Oh, my antlers. You're so cute. You are so cute. You know what I wish they would put on sale is the brush cleaner and the can. Because I really hey, do like that stuff. The color switch? The Yeah. I saw that on there. Did you? Maybe it wasn't boxy. Maybe it was um, Fab Fit Fun. Oh, maybe. Because I really do like that. Let it go. Let it go. <laughs> Some night we will do an entire musical. We'll do a show, entire music song for you. You guys will thank us. I need some gloss. Or you'll pay us to shut up. I'm fine with either. I'm going to put gloss on. So this is the designer blood. That is a lot more blue red to it. Let me, I'm just going to run and get the unicorn blood. Okay. Don't mind my pony. <laughs> <laughs> Do you see why I love her? I fucking love her and why we've been best friends for eons her pajamas her antlers i just love her she balances us out like we're both kooky but she's kooky fun i'm just fucking psycho i'm not okay a little kooky <laughs> and spooky <laughs> so this is the unicorn blood all right oh shit let me see let me pull my stuff i can put some on yeah, go for it. So, wait, hold that up again. Oh. Hold that up again. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> just whipped it all. <laughs> good thing like we're not going anywhere. I ate a tomato. Looks like you blew a tomato. <laughs> <laughs> I can make my eyeliner dry, run, whatever. <laughs> okay, Hold up your unicorn blood. I'm going put some on. All right. Ugh, I've had this for... Let's see. James and I have been together for 10 years. So I've had this for about nine years. <laughs> oh, my God. You got it when I told you about it. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. 
Still smells good. Sorry, guys, I'm biting my nails. If I have no lips tomorrow, we'll know why. <laughs> well, thank God we're working from home, so no one will have to see them. I gotta go in the <laughs> office tomorrow. Oh, do you? Actually, I have a staff meeting in the morning. Zoom, of course, but I went to the office today because we're supposed to have a snowstorm tomorrow. Night. Night. <laughs> uh, how many um, inches of snow are you supposed to get? Uh, anywhere from a dusting to 18 inches. So, you know. 18 inches? Yeah. Holy moly. Yep. I was on the COVID call today, and that's what they said. I'm like, oh, I didn't think we were getting anything, but... If you say so, I actually really love this look. <gasps> so this one, unicorn blood, is actually, I think, a little bit browner. And this is more red. Yeah, that's it's got more blue, blue, up. blue undertone. <laughs> Wayne's World, extreme close-up. Party time. Excellent. Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> We're that many years old. <laughs> Can I share a story? Yes. So when I, this is dating myself anyways, but when I lived in Virginia, that movie, Wayne's World, came out when I was living in Virginia. I think I was probably, I was at Catholic school, so I was maybe in eighth grade at that time, maybe seventh, and it came to Patrick Henry mall which i don't know if it's patrick henry mall still there or not i think it is and i think that i must have went to see wayne's world probably about 15 times in the movie theater because each friend wanted to go see it a different time and then each family member wanted to go see it so we kept going back and back and back. it was like i just thought it was the best movie ever <laughs> well, it was great. I mean, even when I was in you know high school at that time, like it was a big thing. It was huge, and you loved it. And everybody was quoting it. Mm -hmm. And our teachers were getting annoyed though because we would quote the movie and not answer them. So, I I forgot how much I love Unicorn Blood. I love it's beautiful and Designer Blood. I'm really loving Designer. I blood. I really like Designer Blood too. I think maybe when we come live next time, I'll do more like a gold bronzy look. I think it's because I want to use uh, my other family jewels one. Well, my Jeffree Star palette, it said that it shipped, and that's the one that's got, like, all of, like, the bronzy color. So yeah. I'd like to use that with the Manny. Ooh, is that bad? Because they don't Ooh. they don't get along. They had a falling No, what would probably be worse if I mixed my James Charles with my Jeffree Star. <gasps> oh, a little bit of James on your left eye. A little <laughs> bit of Jeffree on your right. <laughs> Scandalous. <laughs> but oh my gosh thank you guys so much for joining us we love to do this we hope you like these looks you know next time like she said we'll do a different one and we'll do next time we'll do a cut crease yeah. and we'll do a holiday cut crease um mm -hmm. i just want to go back to mental health for a second so before we end our show and not trying to end on a bad note but just so you know you're loved people are here to support you and love you through this there's a lot of people feeling really down about themselves right now and missing family, whether they've lost loved ones or they can't be with their loved ones. And sometimes they have thoughts of not thinking the world would be better off without them. And I just want you to know, A, that's not true. We need you. We love you. And this is just a moment. And you don't have to overcome it alone. Everybody's here to love you and support you through this no matter what. But if you do happen to feel that it's becoming too much and you don't know who to turn to, you're afraid to turn to family, you're afraid to turn to a friend because of judgment or you don't want them to know, there is a line you can call and it is the prevention hotline yep. and it is 1-800-273-8255. I'm going to say that again. It is... 1-800-273-8255. Call that if you feel like you're teetering on the other edge of that other side. Because tomorrow will come. Things will be getting better. And you're not in this alone. And you're not alone. And it's and you not a sign of weakness. You know, no. Everybody has moments. 
in their life, people have triggers, especially now dealing with COVID on top of job loss, on top of whatever else you might be going in with your going on with your life. Um, if you also go to um, your de your state Department of Head Department of Health, I know on the New York State Department of Health website, they also have COVID phone numbers where you can reach out and talk to mental health counselors. Maybe you are just on the edge and the anxiety is just getting too much and you can't get a hold of your therapist that you normally talk to. There are phone numbers. I would be more than happy. To, I don't know the numbers off the top of my head, but I would be more than happy to help research in your local state which numbers you can call or um, you know, the mental health hotline numbers are typically 1-800 numbers. Um, they're usually licensed clinical social workers that will be more than willing to be there. And they're 24 hours, seven days of the week staffed. So don't be afraid to reach out to somebody. Um, very non-judgmental mm -hmm. space. Exactly. So, you know, don't hold it in. Talk about it. No one's going to judge you. Like Melissa said, it's not a form of weakness. It happens. Anxiety and depression is getting the best of everybody. If all else fails, then 911, you know, to have somebody come. Um, I know there's a lot of like different agencies out there that are that usually had made home visits that are not making home visits. So if you're in that need and you need help ASAP, you can yep. always dial 911 too. 911 are a mobile crisis unit. They also will help as well. They will, but, but they're not making home visits. In At least in Shenango County. At least not in our county, they're not. In Shenango County, if it's, if it's dire, mm -hmm. and I'm not sure how they like measure that, they will, but if all, just call 911. But just yeah. know you're loved. And I didn't want to end on a bad note, but I thought it was just No, it's not a bad note. It's that, important. It's very we important. Share that mental do self care, do something for you, mm -hmm. whether that's a hot bath, reading, walking, listening to music, even just sitting in silence. Taking 10 and minutes to deep breathe and exactly. think about everything that you're thankful for and that you are here another day. It's easy to focus on the negativity, but try and to take, even if it's, I got up this morning and I'm breathing, you yep. know. Whether you're a man or a woman or someone in transition, putting on your makeup for however long it takes and just meditating on all the positive. Reading a book, yep. crocheting, knitting, baking. Yep. Even shopping. Yep. Online shopping is wonderful. <laughs> it's been working for us great. <laughs> <laughs> but just know you're loved and know there are other options out there and just you're strong and we're in this together and you can always reach out to us on our page on, on midnight beauties. Feel free to do that on our Facebook, on our YouTube, on our, on our anywhere that Instagram, our Twitter. TikTok. Yep. Reach out to us and we'll help, you know, link you to where you need to go because we're happy to do that. So with that being said, this is our holiday look. Yeah. This is our holiday Zoom holiday one. look. Holiday one. Holiday one, and then we'll do holiday two next week in a boxy charm reveal. Um, yeah, don't forget like, subscribe, and share our YouTube, our share, Facebook, share, share, TikTok, Instagram, or Midnight Beauties. And uh, thank you guys so much again. Thank you to Nikki Pritchard of Rose Petal Cottage. Thank you so much, Gina. Thank you so much to everybody who watches here. Um, we will see you next week before Christmas. Um, and so we're so excited. <laughs> hopefully <laughs> so, thank you so much for always being there guys thank you so much for supporting us and watching us again like share subscribe comment because that gets us in the better algorithm yeah you know youtube uh instagram they have uh, um tiktok they have these things called algorithm so share our page like comment absolutely so i'm tiffany bath i'm melissa ann we're best friends. And we're Midnight, and Midnight Beauties. Beauties. Thank you so much for watching, guys. We love you so much. And we will talk to you later. Bye. Bye. Peace. Peace. Spread love. Bye. Not hate. Well, that's one more thing. Don't be a Karen. Don't be a douchebag. Be no, kind. Men, don't be a douchebag. That's right. <laughs> be nice. We're all in this together. Be fucking nice. Mm -hmm. Don't make me get stabby. All right. No, don't. I don't want you to go to jail. <laughs> Ha <laughs>
fuck, we're poor. We went shopping. We don't have bail money. Damn it. <laughs> I spent it all on pallets. <laughs> I wonder if they accept payment and brushes and eyeshadow. <laughs> I don't know. I got lots of eggnog. Non-dairy. <laughs> Non-dairy. Oh my God. Right, can add, I a little, add a little ice cream to it. <laughs> Good night, guys. Love you. Bye. Merry Bye. Christmas. Happy holidays.